You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. Numbskull of the Loonies has a problem with Yuck Mouth. Yuck Mouth said that he allegedly raped somebody. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out Ben Staples' Remote Park Broke My Heart review in the album review playlist. Yeah, I've been calling you, bruh. You ain't picking up your phone. Hella times I called. I wonder why. Because you a motherfucking coward, nigga. Straight up, nigga. What is it, bruh? You want to keep lying on me like that, nigga? Tell a motherfucker I'm a rapist and a fucking registered sex offender, nigga? Anybody can go online and see that shit ain't true. But you still want to put that shit in the air like that? What kind of nigga is you, man? For real? Nigga, you threaten the lives of my family with that shit, nigga. That type of lie, nigga, that shit got consequences, bruh. This the only way I can get at you, and I know you for sure gonna see this. This the only way, because you will answer your phone. You's a coward, nigga. The fuck I look like? Celebrity boxing, nigga. Is you out your fucking mind, nigga? You gotta see me, nigga. Me okay, you heard what he said, man. You gotta see me. You gotta see me. How do I feel about that? He's right. First of all, why would you lie on somebody like that? Once you say somebody's a sex offender, a rapist, whatever, there's no excuse for that. Um, like to me, that's the lowest point you can do to somebody is lie on somebody. You know, I hate to see this because I grew up listening to the loonies in the 90s. Like when I was actually, before I got to high school, I got five on it. Play a hater, Operation Stack Ola. They first um, debut album, which was hard as hell. Then they came out with their second album. It's me and you. You know what I'm saying? Like I always thought they was a dope duo. Especially from the Bay Area. Always gave them their love. Always gave them their respect. You know, I know Yuck Mouth did some things in the you know, 2000s when he went to do some solo stuff. And Numbskull. I didn't really hear too much from him at that time. But, you know, I always thought they was just tight. But just to hear somebody call somebody a rapist, a registered sex offender, that's not good. That's not good at all. Because at the end of the day, it's like... You can't apologize. What you gonna say? Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Bullshit. You didn't mean to do that. You know what the hell you did? You know what I'm saying? And once you say something like that, now what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to just sit there and just let that go? Nah, man. Something gonna have to give. And like he said, his family's looking at him different. Not only his, we talking about his wife or, yeah, could be his wife, girlfriend, his children, parents, aunties, uncles. We don't know if this man is like probably a coach or does some type of community um, volunteer work. And they can be looking at him now like, what's going on with that? See, that's what I'm saying. You actually put a, 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 a S on his, uh, on his jacket, like a scarlet letter. Because now, even though it can be cleared up, but you're going around spreading a rumor, like that shit can end bad. Like I'm talking about beyond a physical altercation. That's my personal opinion. I mean, I can't believe Yuck Mouth said that shit. Like, damn, man. Like, I wonder what made him say that. Like, for real, especially if Nusko saying he had to come out and get on social media just to put a video out and tag him in it because Yuck Mouth wasn't picking up his phone. Now, Nusko has to clear all this shit up. <laughs> um, I don't know. All I can say is, you know, hopefully we can get we can get some um. We can get some clarity. Something can give. And damn, I don't know what to say, man. I just don't know. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. But like Nas said in the message in 1996, best friends become strangers. And you never know how that situation can play out. You can be the tightest of the tightest. And next thing you know it, you can be at each other's neck. Worst enemies. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, 
I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.